it is February 21st. This is the first Sunday of Lent, this season, 40 days of preparation for the resurrection of Christ, for Easter Sunday. And the Gospel is taken from St. Mark, chapter 1, verse 12 to 15. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert. He remained in the desert for 40 days, tempted by Satan. He was among wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God. This is a time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The gospel of the Lord. Today's passage can be divided into first Jesus who went to the desert and then Jesus preaching. Jesus went to the desert at the end, led by the Spirit. The whole life of Jesus is not doing his own business, his own likings, but doing the will of the Father, being led by the Spirit. And he was led by the Spirit to the desert. We, we knew that John the Baptist also was in the desert. And then in the time of Jesus, many people who thought they were messiahs, people who, re, who we would say today revolutionaries, went to the desert. But Jesus went to the desert to recreate the new people of God, like Israel that went out of Egypt and stayed in the desert for 40, for 40 years. So Jesus went to the desert. The desert is a place to encounter the Lord. It is a place of silence, of sun and sand. He has to be with the Lord at the end to prepare for his ministry. That is, but also the desert is a place of temptation. And we know the temptations of Israel in the desert. They were tempted when they were hungry, when, when, they, when they were thirsty, when they were alone. So Jesus also in the desert was tempted by Satan. Satan is the enemy. Jesus, what, what the letter to the Hebrew, Hebrew says, that Jesus was like us in everything but sin. He was tempted, not only in the desert, but he was tempted also, remember in Gethsemane, he was tempted, tempted on the cross. Temptations are not a problem. The problem is when we allow temptations to run our lives. Lead us not into temptation. We, we pray in the Our Father. Temptations are part of our life, but we need really to discard temptations and to be true to who we are, the children of God. And then the Gospel says that he was among the wild beasts and the angels ministered to him. This idea brings us to, the, to creation. To the book of Genesis chapter 3 chapter 2 when Adam and Eve were in the were in the in the garden in paradise and they were among the wild beasts with the angels after they sin after the original sin there was war against the, the beast and the angels ceased to serve humans so Jesus is recreating the new paradise the new era at the end. So he passed the test. He was not lured by, by the devil about power, about fame, about richness. He is led by the Spirit. It's what we are supposed to be, always led by the Spirit and not led by, by Satan. And then the second part is Jesus, after, the, after John was arrested, began to preach the kingdom of God is at hand now, now. The kingdom of God is present in the ministry of Jesus. In fact, in the Gospel of Mark, Jesus teaches, but seldom we know what he's teaching. Jesus teaches by what he does, by his own life at the end. The kingdom of God is the presence of the Lord in our lives. We need to accept that kingdom. And what are we supposed to do? How are we? And Jesus put two things. Repent and believe in the Gospel. Repent means metanoia, means changing the way we think. And the way we think will influence the way we act, we behave. We need to think like Jesus thinks, to have the mind of Jesus. That means to repent. Normally, we say that we are sinners. We are not sinners. We do sins. We commit sins. But we are not sinners. We are holy people of God. We need to think like holy people of God. We need to change. How can we change the way we, we think? Depends what we listen, what we read. So this... Lenten season is a time to read, to listen to the gospel, to listen to, to the word of God, to listen good things at the end, so that they can influence 
the way we talk, the way we behave. And then believe in the gospel. Believe in the gospel is to trust. Really, do we trust in Jesus? Do we trust in his, in the, his good news? Do we really? Are we loyal to Christ? And to, to believe is not only to know things by heart. Like we know the creed, we know our many prayers by heart. It's really to commit our lives to Christ. So this Sunday, Jesus invites us to go with him to the desert, to stay with him, to believe in him, to trust in him. Remember, Sunday is time to go to Mass today. Today is the day of the Lord. Have a blessed Sunday.